And good morning, fellow students and audiences. Have you wondered how by just a single click, all the lights and the fans in your house is turned on? Or how by a single click, all the appliances in your house like a television, aircon, and the water heaters is functioning? This is how the supply system in Malaysia works. We are having two types of system, which is called as single phase and three phase system. Normally for the domestic use, we are using single phase system, which is supplied with 240 volts. For the three-phase system, it's normally supplied with 415 volt. So for a house is equipped with the, all the electrical appliances, first, it must have a very good wiring system. Without a good wiring system, the appliances is not functioning and in order to have the good wiring system we are following the guidelines set by Suruhanjaya Tanaga so according to the Suruhanjaya Tanaga guidelines there's a few regulations that must be adhered in making sure that the connections and all the appliances are working properly the first thing is our distribution box, which is normally said as DB. As you can see, a DB is contains first a main switch, then what is called as RCB or residual current breaker and MCB mini Asia current breaker. The RCB is normally for single phases is rated at 40 ampere which is functioned as a current breaker. Then we have the mini Asia current breakers which is distributor for all the electrical appliances for the lights and fans we normally use 6 ampere rated mcbs for the water heaters or aircons normally we will use 20 ampere rated mcbs and for the socket outlets if you are using one socket outlet, we will use 16 ampere rated MCB. For two socket outlets, it will be 20 ampere rated MCBs. And when we are doing wiring, make sure that you are using proper cable size. For lights and fans, normally we will use a copper cable with 1.5 millimeter square size. For the water heater and aircon, it should be 4 millimeter square cable. And for the socket outlets, it should be 2.5 millimeter square cable. Let's we see how to connect a simple circuit where one one way switch will control a single light. This is a one way switch. It contains two terminals, one for the life and one for neutral. 
So the life cable from the MCB which is rated as 6 ampere is connected to the switch and the other terminal is connected to a lights and the neutral cable from the light is connected to the neutral in the MCB. So when you press the switch, the circuit becomes complete and the current flows through the circuit and to the lights. So now you can see the light is turned on and the room becomes bright. So how about a same switch can control two lights? Simple. The lights are connected in parallel as what you can see in the figure. The light from the switch is connected to both of the lights and the neutral cable from the both of the light is connected to the DB. So when you press the switch, both lights is turned on. So this is how multiple lights are controlled in a single switch. And sometimes when we are in staircase or the double story houses or in a long corridors, we can see multiple switches are controlling multiple lights such as a man was standing end of the corridor can control all the lights and when he go to the other end of the corridor he still can control all of the lights. This is can be done by using a two-way switch. Two-way switch as you can see in the figure is have a one common point and two outlets. So we have to use two two-way switch to control the lights. The light from the 6 amperated MCB is connected to the common of the two-way switch. Then, L life 1 from the switch 1 is connected to the L1 of the switch 2 by using a life cable. And L2 terminal from switch 1 is connected to the L2 in the second switch. And the common from the second switch is connected to the life of the lights and the neutral from the light is connected to the neutral in the DB. So when you press the first switch one, the light is turned on. When you press the second switch, switch two, the light is turned off. So this is how you control the both lights with two way switch. Very simple, right? You can do your own. You can do for multiple lights by connecting in parallel. So you can have two switches which is controlling the multiple lights which is normally you can see in corridors or staircases. How student? You think it's easy to do? So this is how we are going to do the wiring. Make sure that when you're doing wiring, you have your safety features with you. The first thing is test pen. And the second thing, you must have a safety booth.
always pay attention to your safety. Check your supplies by using a test pad before you check the supplies. That's all for this morning. I hope you will understand the basic knowledge of how the single phase wiring system is functioning. Till we meet again, thank you very much.